Hello and welcome to my second video about XNet. If you haven't seen the first one, make sure you do that. Link is in the description. In this video, we will go through the uh, some advanced features of the XNet networks where we do some um, slightly more advanced transportations with the rule set and uh, conditions as well. We'll do some yeah, that's basically what we'll go through because there is much to talk about and I want to go th through it thoroughly. In next video, I will talk about the routers and router networks. So stay tuned for that. And let's begin right here. You know the connector from before and you use the connector together with some good stuff to make the advanced connector. So the advanced connector has a few advent adventures uh, over the um, normal connector. For example, you can connect it to several sides instead of just the one you're pointing at. So these two setups are identical in the rules. So this one is identical to this, but this one is connecting to three sides of the furnace to, uh, to reach the top, bottom and, uh, and side, top, bottom and side. And this one, we only need the one, the advanced connector, because it's enough to uh, then we can reach all the one, all the sides anyway. All right, so let me go through because we'll also talk about some logic and setting up rules. So the the purpose of this network is to be. It will maintain the controller with energy, no more than uh, it requires. I will keep it at around 50,000 RF. If, it's, if we're below, then we should make some more energy and, and then we should stop. So we'll constantly be around between 48,000 and slightly above 60. No specific reason, just because it's fun. We will create the charcoal needed in the furnace and we'll use the charcoal in this generator to produce power to the controller and we have everything stored in this chest so we have lots of charcoal and lots of wood so let me remove remove a few here and let's take a look at the rule set to begin with we have the controller red is a logic channel we are here we set up a rule i can actually do it in a new one logic just to see show how it looks we're looking for power beneath, below 50,000. And right now we have it. And that's when we automatically insert coal charcoal into this one, producing RF and sending it back here. And we have two charcoal left. So here we have, we can set the rule for the, for the controller like this, where we have we can check every second or up to 10 seconds. Here is what we are sensing. Items and uh, fluids, energy and so on. And then the operator less than, more than, equal or whatever you want. So I set this to check for energy if we are below 50,000 RF. And then we have these black boxes and they are really what makes this possible. We want to output a color here and this color will be used in other rule set. If you remember from, from before, even in the old ones from last video, we had these black boxes and they're called enable on color or on redstone. And what that means is that if we set a rule set here to output blue for example if we are less than 50,000 then we can have a different rule for example on the chest here and that's an item rule item channel and then create a rule for that then we can enable it on what did i say blue blue and then we can extract i don't know 
would like that. This means that if we are below 50,000, check every second, then we output a blue color. And this one will pick up on the blue color and then we will extract, well, oak woods to, to somewhere else. And then we can insert it to, to somewhere. And you can also, you can even do the enable on color on the logic. So if we have red color from some other rule from some other tab here, then this rule is active and then we'll check the energy. So you can do this in several steps. So you can make it very advanced or very simple, depending on what you want to do, with full control over every step. Though it might take some time to set things up because it's easy to make <laughs> mistakes. Uh, but as I said last time, just do it slowly and uh, keep track of what you're doing. So let's take a look at what we do here. Here we have the same rule I just set up, 50,000 RF in the controller. If we have less than 50,000, I'll put a white color. And this is always active. It's enable on black. It means that we're always looking for this every second. In the same channel, it has nothing to do with the first one, but we can do this several per channel. Here we check in the chest and we're checking for items Charcoal, to be more specific, if we have less than two, I'll put a red color. So we have white and we have red. Then we can check what we are using them for. So this is an item network. Again, we extract anything from the chest. So we have no filters. We're doing this every 10 seconds. And into the Sterling generator, we are inserting specifically charcoal and keep one in the inventory at the max. It is only enabled on white. So this extract is always active, but the insert is only active on white. That means that if we if we don't have anywhere to send the items, nothing will be extracted. So this can be always active. Insert maximum of one charcoal into the sterling generator. And then we can check the energy channel here, where we extract energy from the generator and we insert it into the controller. So once we have less than 50,000, then we insert the charcoal, then we can automatically extract it back into the controller and keep it above 50 at all times. So now we did it directly just when we talked. And now you can see that the furnace is running as well, or it, it ran. Great. So let's take a look here, what we have. This is the one, if we have less than two charcoal in the chest, then we output a red color. And the red color can be found here. We extract from the chest and insert it into the, the, uh, the south side. This is south and this is up and this is down on the furnace. So south side means this one. And we insert one here as well. So that means that we have less than two charcoal in the chest, then we'll make some more. And on this one, we are inserting to the upper slot, insert wood and keep eight there at all times. And then finally, when we have uh, inserted the charcoal and then things will start to cook, then we extract from the furnace downside. This is done at all times and insert it into the chest. So our charcoal will end up here again. And this one will keep getting stocked and we're doing this every 10 seconds. And that's how long time it takes for one, one wood to be turned to charcoal. So it will be filled up in the same rate as we are extracting and, uh, and inserting. So it will actually make 16 every time due to that. But it's not a perfect rule, but you, you get the idea, I hope. If we then take a look here, 
same setup but with the advanced connector. Then we will have to make a slightly different setup. As you can see the furnace will only show on one line. It's a downside. This. But we can change that and that's what I've done here. So this rule set is the same. 50,000 and less than 2. And then we have the extract from the chest and insert to the sterling generator if we have a white color. And we insert to the, uh, let's see, the south side of the furnace. And the south side here can be changed. West, east, down, up, north. But we want to have the south because charcoal goes into the side. We keep one in the inventory, same as before, nothing has changed. And since we don't have uh, these, you can see here, here we have more, more uh, rows, so we can have more rules in the same channel. But here we need to do it slightly differently. We need to extract from the chest again over here and insert to the, uh, the upside. So we extract, north, south, it doesn't matter. From, uh, from the chest. I'm using an advanced connector here as well. It's not really needed because the chests, they don't have any sides, they only have an inventory. So we extract from the chest and insert to the upside of the furnace. Then things end up up here. And then finally we extract from the downside from the furnace and we insert it to the chest. Again, doesn't matter what side. And everything is based around the colors, which was the important part. And then remember, you can enable rule sets on color as well. So one thing about the advanced connector is that it, it is faster than a normal connector. Uh, let's see if we have this one. No, here. So we can do things more quickly. We can set it to at the down at 10 ticks, so every 0.5 seconds we can check. The lowest number here is 20. Here we can be faster. And that means it can pick up items much faster, twice as fast actually. So you can move things from a chest to another twice as fast with the advanced connector compared to the normal. Another thing is that it's faster for energy transport as well. Let me see here. Um, we have... Okay, here we have the controller. Here we have two capacitor banks from Enderio. We have a normal connector here and an advanced connector here. So what we're doing now is that we're just exporting from this and inserting to that one and extracting here to an insert to this one. And we can compare the speed of these two if we just enable them. You can actually see it in a tooltip here. This is the advanced and it says 100,000 per tick is the limit. And then this is the normal, it says 10,000. And we can actually see this if you just can get it running. I did something wrong. Oh, I was missing power, of course. So let me just place a sterling generator up here quickly. And now we can do it. <laughs> so here we can see in the advanced connector 25,000 RF per tick. And in the normal connector 10,000. So here the limit is the connector. And here we're limited by this one. Unless we... Can we set this higher? Nope, 25 is the maximum. So it's faster in more than one way. Then before we end this video, let me just mention that we have a facade. This one, paper and wool and stuff. And it's simply, you simply right click on a block like that. Facade is now mimicking bricks. Right click, right click. It does only work on the cable, doesn't work on the connector. Not as long as far as I know. Grass block, bricks, alright, easy, simple, useful. Well, 
not much more to say um, in this video. In the last, in the third part, I will cover routing networks and uh, and routers, and I hope I'll see you then. Take care and bye bye.